Let's talk about one of the largest companies in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabian Mining Company. That's the sixth largest firm by market capitalization. And its first quarter revenue beat even the highest analyst estimate, coming in at 3.56 billion Saudi rials. Let's get more with the president and CEO, Khaled Mudeif, and he joins us down the line. Khaled, welcome to the program. I want to kick off then with some of the risks that you cited going forward, rising raw materials prices. How are you going to deal with that in the next two to three quarters? Well, thank you very much for having us. The, the focus we always have is, is in operational excellence, and we will continue doing so in addition to optimizing cost and increasing volumes from our productivity so, uh, so we can deliver the full value of our diversified asset base and our integrated value chains to our shareholders. And we have broken this in the last quarter and the quarters of 2017. Khaled, a very good morning to you. It's Manus. You're dealing with many big issues. The aluminium market itself is grappling with the possible sanctions, the ramifications of sanctions uh, around the world. Give me your perspective on the risk from sanctions, especially for your business. Well, uh, we, we feel these sanctions are short term, but uh, any trade any trade restrictions would impact growth in, in, in the market. And, uh, however, we are focused on our, on our internal. In the long term, fundamentally, the aluminium has all the potential to continue growing as demand grows and also as investment into new capacity be more disciplined. And uh, therefore, as new uh, demand comes on, from renewables, from electrification, from electrical cars also, the, yeah. the intensity. Khaled, let me jump in and, and ask about the other risk that, that you could have down the line, which is the, the rising interest rates. You're exposed to Cybor. Uh, what kind of impact is that going to have on your bottom line? And also, what are your plans for refinancing one of your key uh, industrial plants? Yes, we, uh, we have grown uh, ambitiously, and of course we have grown our, our uh, loans and debts. We are working with, with our cash flow, with our positive, increasing positive cash flow, to reduce our leverage and also you know, use, uh, re refinance ourselves in a better terms. Going forward, we have completed issuance of Sukuk and, and, and on the phosphate business, we refinanced the aluminium smelter and we are in the market refinancing yeah. our refinery. All these measures is to, to improve the position we are in and also we will right. uh, and I mean, are, ultimately you, you, you point out that you are in a very strong position. You've got quite a bit of financial muscle. Is that perhaps an opportunity to look for an acquisition for some fresh inorganic growth? Well, our strategy calls, of course, to grow more in Saudi Arabia, but also we are open to growth in, in, in phosphate and on, on base metal uh, outside Saudi Arabia. That can be an organic also. And the rising oil price, what's that doing to your forecast? I mean, it seems to be accelerating now with the latest sanctions on Iran. Is that going to be good news for you? Well, a stable, a, a, a stable market is a, is a good market for commodities. And, of course, having more uh, a reasonable price to oil will make more investment in Saudi Arabia and increases demand locally, especially for the aluminium side. And that uh, hopefully will bring more, uh, more growth in the region with a reasonable pricing of the oil. We've seen quite a bit of IPOs in this part of the world, and I'm looking here at the, you know, along the lines of Alba, and we've got Emirates Global Aluminum. They're planning one in the second half of the year. You've got uh, Qatar Aluminum. They're looking to IPO in the fourth quarter. The conditions generally are favorable. What do you make of all of this, and perhaps what kind of risk does it present to your business? Well, that could, the aluminum businesses have got um, a tough 2015, 2017 early. And now the, 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 the commodity is out of the cycle, and it's a good opportunity for, for, especially in the region here, 
we have a good opportunity as with, we have the energy, we have the, the, now the bauxite in the region uh, to grow further uh, as we are one of the lowest uh, producers of, of aluminium in the world. So it's a good, a good opportunity to, uh, to look into further growth in, in, in that regard.